the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no place to go, make it so, make it so, make it so. Well, good snowy Saturday morning, Toronto. Welcome to this snowy edition of the Toronto Beer Podcast. And I will warn you now, it's going to be a short one. This is the explaining why there was no episode this week episode. And it is just me, Chris. Uh, Funny enough, not because Mandy wasn't available, but because we didn't manage to connect to give her her mic back, which Nick had borrowed for last episode. And so she had no reliable way to record. So unfortunately... It didn't happen. It also happens that as a postal worker delivering um, parcels and mail and so on and so forth, uh, Christmas is the busy time. Uh, I had no idea. No idea. Anyway, I'm just here. Uh, It is now 1030 a.m. Saturday. I've just spent about an hour and a half clearing out all of that lovely snow from my driveway, pushing it into places where my kids can play on it. Uh, And I am just having a nice hot cup of tea. I believe it's Red Rose. I'm very meticulous. Uh, Sidebar here. Maybe this is going to be the Toronto Tea Podcast for a few minutes. Do you know how to make a good cup of tea? Do you like a good cup of tea? I love a good cup of tea. I got got heavy into tea traveling in uh, the UK. And uh, my wife and I, who were just dating at the time, traveled there for a couple weeks together. And when we got back, a couple of days after we got back, we were talking on the phone one morning. We were both like, I feel really weird. I feel out of sorts. I don't don't know what's going on. Ah. And I said to Erica, I was like, why don't you come over to my place? And she was like, yeah, all right. And so she came over to my house and she came in and she's like, I'm going to put on the kettle. And I went, oh, tea. I haven't had a cup of tea in like four days. I've been living off the stuff. So ever since then, I've been heavy into tea. And I'm going to take a moment uh, to tell you how to make a great cup of tea. Uh, Douglas Adams, the writer of The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, made me aware of uh, a serious flaw if I'm honest, in the way that I, uh, I I make tea. And I think actually Orwell might too. Um, might have been an Orwell short on that as well. If there is, anyway, both of those will be in the show notes. But here is the long and short of you are going to make yourself a cup of tea. Uh, Douglas Adams says you need to go to Marks and Spencer and get a bag of Earl Grey. And uh, that'd be great. That'd be really nice. I might recommend a nice little tea shop. Um, we have a lovely little one in our neighborhood called Pippin's. Not where we buy Red Rose from. We get that at the grocery store, but Pippin's is a good little shop. Maybe go in there and uh, check out some of their stuff. But get, get yourself a nice bit of tea. Whole leaf, ideally. You're going to take your kettle. And uh, if you have an electric kettle, you can do it, but it's going to take a bit of doing. You're going to be quick with it. On the other hand, if you have a nice uh, sturdy kettle on the stovetop, all the better. Uh, You're going to fill that with as much water as you need and bring that to a boil. When it's at a boil, you're going to uh, take some of the water and pour it into your teapot or your mug if you're just making a single cup. And uh, you're going to let it sit in there for a minute just to warm up. You want to warm up the, uh, the, the teapot. They call it hot the pot. Then uh, swish it around a little, pour it out, put your tea bag or bags in. And then while the water is still boiling, you're going to have to hold the teapot next to the kettle next to the stovetop so that the kettle is still over the heat source. You want the water to be boiling when it goes into the pot or as close to boiling as humanly possible. And uh, submerge that tea bag in that water and you are going to have yourself a really nice cup of tea. The the problem I think, you know, most people have, they make tea with water that's too cool and uh, you just don't get that extraction that you're looking for. So <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. This is apparently a really good cup of tea I'm drinking right now. Uh, Toronto Beer uh, Podcast, the, all things brewing in uh, the Toronto Beer Podcast. Maybe I'll do a little coffee bit sometime when Mandy's not around because uh, I could go on at length about that. And let me tell you, Roasting my own beans, all that sort of jazz. But anyway, I digress. Uh, that is that is what's happening in my life right now. Drinking tea, clearing snow, going to head out in just a few minutes, probably do a little bit of sledding, and uh, probably crack a beer when I uh, get back in from that. I think, uh, I'm trying to think what I have kicking around in the fridge. Oh, I know, because as we all know, this is the Toronto Beer Podcast brought to you by Leftfield Brewery. Not really. Uh, but I do happen to have a bottle of the uh, Prospect uh, Citra in the fridge, or was it the Simcoe? I think it's the Citra. So maybe I'll have that as my little midday brew 
And uh, then actually, uh, me and the kids are going to go over to left field and uh, the kids will play a bit with Wrigley and Mandy will get that microphone back and hopefully we'll record maybe Monday or Tuesday night and uh, have you guys a a Christmas episode uh, for your Christmas listening pleasure. Uh, So, yeah, that's all I got. I don't know of anything that's happening this week aside from hopefully more snow. And lots of Christmas stuff. If you're planning your beer Christmas, I actually did a post on my blog a while back about how to have a beery Christmas. So maybe I'll throw that link in the show notes too. And uh, you can check that out and make plans to have all the beery goodness you can on Christmas Day. It starts with uh, a beery breakfast cocktail and it goes right on through to beery butter beer for after dinner. So uh, check that out. Have yourself a safe week out there in the snow. Have some fun. If you got little people in your life, uh, this is the kind of winter that we're living for is get out there and build a snowman or do some sledding or just, you know, snow job your kid if they're old enough, whatever. But uh, have a good time. Make sure you got something nice and cold in the fridge when you get back in. And uh, we will talk to you guys in about a week. Thanks for listening, Toronto.